Now we will consider the different factors that influence the glass transition temperature and we will talk about the molecular mass effect, the polymer architecture one, the effect of intermolecular forces, the steric effects, copolymerization and plasticizers effect. If we start with the molecular mass, in fact, if the molecular mass increases, what does it mean? As I said before, I remember once I said I talked about this concerning the application of uh, high density polyethylene and low density poly polyethylene. If the number of repetitive unit increases in the polymer chain, thus the length of this polymer chain increases and the molecular mass of this polymer chain increases. So how this influences the GG? According to flory fox equation, there is direct relation between glass transition temperature and the molecular mass of the polymer. We have Tg, it's equal to G of the polymer, is equal to the G infinity minus K over Mn, where Tg infinity is the maximum value of Tg that can be reached at theoretical infinite molecular mass. And K is a parameter that is related to the free volume present in the polymer sample. So for each polymer, we have to determine the Tg infinity, which is obtained by varying Tg over K as function of the molecular mass of the polymers. And it will increase by increasing the molecular mass. So Tg increases by increasing the molecular mass of the polymers till reaching this plateau. And here, we can determine the Tg infinity. So after this mass, all the other polymers with different molecular mass higher than this one will have the same Tg infinity. Okay, so as I said, the Tg is directly proportional to Mn, and by increasing the polymerization time, we increase the addition of monomer units to the polymer chain. Thus, we increase the molecular mass of this polymer. And Tg increases at the same way. So that's why for the same polymer, for different, if we use different molecular mass, we will have different Tg. And thus, we will have different applications for the same polymer. So if we have the molecular mass of specific polymer and we determined already the Tg infinity of this uh, polymer, we will be able to predict the Tg of this polymer, with, which is an essential factor to be known, to precise or to know for which application the polymer could be used. The second factor is the polymer architecture. How the polymer architecture influences the Tg? If I consider the linear polymer chains, these chains, as they are linear, they will become close to each other. And becoming close to each other, others will increase the interactions between them and they will pack together forming solid form or crystalline form. In parallel, if I have branched polymers here, the polymer chains cannot pack together are the linear ones. So here in the linear ones, we have less free volume compared to the branched ones. Here we have much more free volume. So how this influences Tg? As we have more free volume in the branched polymers, so it's easier to reach the uh, 
thermal energy needed to have flexibility in the polymer chains. So the Tg of linear uh, polymers is higher than the Tg of branched ones. The third one is the effect of intermolecular forces. If I consider the polymer of vinyl tiles, where we have CH2, CH, X, where X is a substitute over the backbone polymer chain, and here this CH2, CHX is repeated n times. So if I change the nature of X, I will change the force or the strength of the intermolecular forces between the polymer chain. More this interaction between the polymer chains is high, thus higher is the Tg of the polymer. To be able to compare the Tg of these different polymers of vinyl type having different kind of X, first we have to fix the mass of these different polymer chains. So for each of these polymer chains having whatever CH3, Cl or OH as X substitute, we should have the same molecular mass because if we have different molecular mass, we can't compare the Tg as the Tg chains with the molecular mass. So we have same molecular mass and we change the substitute. Here, if we look, we have CH3, Cl, and OH. The highest interaction between the polymer chains will be through the hydrogen bonds of the hydroxyl group, and thus the Tg of this polymer having OH groups, which is the polyvinyl alcohol, has the highest Tg. Why this happened? In fact, the presence of the polar side groups which lead to strong intermolecular interaction between polymer chains decrease the motion, molecular motion, between these chains, thus causing an increase in the glass transition temperature. The first factor of um, between or among the factors influencing Tg, we will talk about steric effects. If we consider the same kind of polymer type, the vinyl group with different substitute X, and we will consider here a substitute XH, CH3, and the phenyl group. Also, I repeat for one more time that if I want to compare these polymers, I should have the same mass of the three types of polymers. Here we find that by increasing the volume occupied by the substitute X, we decrease the free volume between polymer chains, thus Tg increases. So the presence of bulky side groups limit the rotation of the backbone atoms due to the steric hindrance, which results in an increase in the glass transition temperature. If we consider another example of steric effect, here I will consider the vinyl group polymer where the substitute of it is of acrylate, COOR, and we will consider different R. So we have here between the difference between these polymers is the number of carbon group on the acrylate function. And I repeat, I want to compare the Tg of these polymers all having the same mass. So here if I look on the values of Tg, I find that Tg decreases by increasing the number of carbons on the R group over the acrylates. Why Tg decreases? In fact, here it increases in linear way, okay? So in fact, by increasing the number of carbon of the R group, 
we increase the space between the different polymer chains. Thus, we decrease the possible interactions between intermolecular interaction between the polymer chains and we create much more free volume in the system. Thus, Tg decreases. Now, we know that Tg is directly related to the volume needed the free volume in the medium. So if the interactions between the polymer chains are L, or the free volume akbar, so or or otherwise I need less temperature to reach enough free volume leading six to ten polymer chains to move together and thus to have the variation from a state to another state and to reach the Dg of this the more, uh, as conclusion, the more bulky the alkyl group on the ester, the lower the Tg. The bulky groups increase the amount of free volume, as I just said. This is applicable till a certain number of the carbon on the R substitute, till number 8. So here, if we have the R of the acrylate or whatever on the substitute are linear. So we have space between the polymer chains, the backbone polymer chains, as, and we have much more free volumes. So Tg decreases. And as I said, this for the linear R until number uh, 8 of carbon. So uh, if the number of carbon is higher than 8, what happens? The, the chains of the R carbon, of the R substitute, get crashed. So if they get crashed, they decrease the free volume between the polymer chains. And as the, polymer, the free volume decreases between polymer chains, they become closer to each other and the interactions become higher. And as I have less free volume, so the Tg of the polymer chain increases. So I repeat, the R number of carbon and the R substitute in linear way over the backbone polymer decreases the Tg because of the increase in the free volume between polymer chains. But this just Till eight carbons on the on the um, R substitute, increasing this number, the the R will crash, and by crashing, they decrease the free volume, and by decreasing the free volume, Tg increases. So I'm gonna talk about the copolymerization effect. As you remember, when I talk about copolymer, means I have two different monomers that copolymerize together and we, different, we have different kind of copolymers. If you remember, we have the star copolymers, the block ones, the alternate, the random, etc. How this copolymerization influences the Tg? If we consider the Tg of a random copolymer, this Tg is related to the Tg of the homopolymers forming this copolymer. So if I have the homopolymer 1 of the monomer 1 having Tg1 and I have the second monomer 2 of the polymer 2, this homopolymer 2 has also Tg2. If I make a copolymer of the monomer 1 and the monomer 2, I will have a new Tg 1 and 2. This Tg value depends of the copolymer, depends on the fraction of the monomer 1 and the fraction of the monomer 2 in this polymer or in this copolymer. 
according to this formula. So, we have 1 over Tg equal to W1 over Tg1 plus W2 over Tg2, where Tg1 and Tg2 are the Tg of each homopolymer, and W1 and W2 are the weight fractions of each homopolymer in the whole copolymer chain. The last effect is the one concerning liplasticizers. Liplasticizers are small molecules which could be added to the polymer to uh, influence the Tg of these polymers. Usually they are used to uh, change the application of uh, the polymers because if we can influence the Tg, we can influence the application of uh, whatever which polymer so these plasticizers how they decrease or vary the tg usually if we add plasticizers inside the polymer uh, system we will create a free volume between the polymer chains and the creation of this free uh, volume will decrease the intermolecular forces between polymer chains and from other side as we have free volume it's easier to reach the Tg thus the Tg of the polymer having or for which we add plasticizers its Tg decreases only the plasticizers in the middle example like uh, during the recycling lecture, uh, for example, with the polymer of the cardboards, uh, cracking of this board, يعني بيعمل at the same time increase the shelf life of these polymers also for example for the uh, for the pvc if i consider the pvc pipes we have i said as as i said also before the pvc pipes we have different kind of pvc pipes اذا بتروحوا على اي اي بنية عم تتعمر بتلاقوا في عندكم كتير تيوبس في اللي تبع الكهرباء في تبع الصحية في تبع الماء البادة وتبع الماء السخنة different في كمان تبع الغاز مش بلبنان بس برا بس في so whole different kinds of pipes كلهم PVC so لألعب على TG تبعهم على يتحملوا الحرارة يعني والضغط يعني البايبس اللي بدهم يستخدموا للغاز غير البايبس اللي بيستخدموا للماء المسقعه غير البايبس اللي بيستخدموا للماء السخن يعني البروبرتيز تبعهم مختلفه سو so انا بقدر العب ايذر على الماس تبع البوليمر لا اقدر غير له الابلكيشن اور اي كان سمبلي اد ديفرنت كايند اوف بلاستيسايزرز اند اي كان كرييت ذس needed free volume which decreases the interaction between the molecular uh, between the polymer chains or the application 